Hi, it's Terry with the Covered Chipboard. I'm here with a new project, a diamond painting. Um, it's from Diamond Art Club, and it's called the Yin Yang Dragons. It's a round drill. It's 42 by 58. And as you can see here, here's a an image of it. Let's see if I can get that. And you can see the color drills. It has 29 colors. So, um, in my previous videos, I talked about the storage system that I'm using, and it's these little tic-tac boxes. Um, they flip open. This lid will also come out, um, so it's easy to get your drills in there, and then they close up right like that. They do come with stickers. There's 64 boxes in the kit, and it comes in a little uh, case that locks closed. It's a really nice little set for the money. It's really inexpensive. So, um, what I've done is, I just finished uh, another Diamond Art Club kit called the Yin Yang Owls. I'm not buying anything else with the Yin Yang in it for a long time. <laughs> but, uh, so I had put my stickers on and then I wrote the color numbers in pencil, thinking that, okay, when I get done, my excess drills will go in a different storage system that I have. And then I can just erase this number and write the new numbers on. Well, then when I pulled this kit out, it suddenly dawned on me that some of these numbers I could already have these boxes set up for. And I did for about half of them. So I went ahead and kept those boxes and what I was missing I made new boxes for. And I'm just going to keep going that way until I see a need to change. But what you want to do is when you first get your kit, you want to take your sheet that comes with it. Now, not all come with this. You may have to use the, um, the sheets may be different, or you may have to use the color key on the side of the canvas. But what you want to do is check all of these colors and make sure you have all of your drills and that you're not missing any. So that's what I've done. I didn't want to bore you with me pouring all these things into containers. But I just went down the list one by one and placed, cut, took my uh, drills, which come in these kind of bags with the color number on the side of them. Hopefully you can see that. And um, I just, they come attached in a long string or a long set. And, and let me sh mention one thing. These come like this and they have a perforation right down the center, but that perforation doesn't always tear like it's supposed to and I have torn some you can see right here it didn't um, but I have torn some and it's torn into the bag and they went everywhere so I suggest using scissors to cut them apart um, <clears throat> and then um, once that was done I just cut a corner off and poured them into the containers I've got tons of extra it didn't look like there was that much white on there but I guess there is so I've got about seven yeah, three, four, five, six, seven bags of white. Um, and these are the big bags. Sometimes they're in smaller bags, like about, oh, maybe that size. So these are big bags. Probably looks like maybe double what's in a normal size bag. But, um, so I've checked off all of my colors. I have them all here. So that's good to go. So the next thing I want to do, let me move all of these out of the way is to prep my canvas. Now your canvas will come with a clear uh, sheet on it. And I know I say this every video, but I hate the sheet. It's a pain in the butt. It's real crinkly, it's extremely thin. It tears very easily. Um, and it's hard when you roll it back to work, you have to either tape it or sit there and hold it and hold your tray at the same time. I just find it annoying and I don't like it, period. So I picked up these sheets off of Amazon. You get 100 sheets in a package and it was like $10.99. There's two different sizes. There's a smaller and a larger, you can probably tell here. There's really not that much difference between the small and the large. And I guess it depends on what size you want to work on. I'm thinking that I might take the larger ones and cut them in half to get two smaller pieces. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be replacing 
I'm going to use my smaller sheets here. And I'm going to replace this clear plastic with these sheets. These are slick on both sides. Both sides will adhere to the plastic. And the idea is that you can lay these down, covering your canvas. And then when you want to work, you do them all the way across and all the way down. And then when you go to work, you just remove one and you can work on that section. <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm not going to film me doing it, but I will film the start of it. So I'm just going to remove this plastic coating down just a little bit. Get my sleeves out of the way. I'm really wondering about this canvas, though, because I don't know if you can see. The glue is really super thick in some areas and really thin in other areas. I don't know if it's a bad pour, but it's all the way through the canvas like that. In fact, I'm going to take a picture of it real quick because I want to ask about this and see what somebody says so I'll let you know about that but for right now I'm just gonna start placing my sheets I'm gonna go a little bit of outside the edge on the left and a little bit up on the top place that sheet down I'm gonna come in with the next one and try to butt it up right next to. Now, some people say to overlap them. I'm not sure why. I'll go ahead and overlap it just about a quarter of an inch. I'm not sure why they do that, but. And I'm going to do this all the way across. It's all covered. Maybe so you can pick it up. I don't. I don't really understand. I did hear somebody mention something about um, when they're working and they get to where two sheets meet, they lift up the second sheet and go and do a row underneath because they said that they noticed they were getting lines showing up in their diamond painting when they did it. <clears throat> uh, so I'm not sure what the deal is. So obviously I'm going to wind up. So with little pieces over here. And rather than slap a whole sheet on there, I'm going to cut this down the middle. And it doesn't have to be super straight. Because I know I'm going to be able to use these size sheets again. And we're going to lay that one right there. And then for the next area, I'm roll the canvas some more. And pull down some more of this nasty sheet. And I will just start again. Make sure I'm over here where you can see. And I'm going to overlap at the top and go down to the next one. And just keep going in this method until I have the entire canvas covered. So I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to go ahead and finish this out, and then I'll come back. Okay, so now you can see that I have covered the whole canvas. I did wind up using uh, four of the larger ones at the bottom to cover all the way. So that's covered, I'm going to smooth it down, try to make sure there's no air bubbles in there. This one has some air bubbles. And again this, and I'm just smoothing it down, making sure it's all smoothed down. And that's it. So now, um, when you get ready to start, let me get the top of it up here. You could start in the top right corner, top left corner, at the bottom, right or left. For some reason, I've always started at the bottom I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't really think it makes any difference. Just You just don't want to start in the middle or like in the middle side. Um, pick a corner and start that way. Now, when you start at the bottom, as you work up, you're going to wind up having to roll this bottom up and either clamp it or um, 
do, do something with it so that it holds while you're working. But then you're pressing on this. So that is maybe an issue there. Whereas if you start at the top and work your way down, you can roll the top and you're not pressing on anything. So I think that's what I'm going to do this time. I'm going to go ahead and start at the top and see if I like it any better. So I'm going to roll this up. Well, you're still going to be doing that. So I don't know how you get around that. Um, I guess this could be left hanging over. I did order a, a stand for my light box. So um, using that, I might be better off down here starting at the bottom and just let it hang over the top. I don't know. I'll figure that out. But then from there, whatever I'm going to do will be just to remove a sheet, whatever corner I start on, and start applying my dots. So pretty much that's it for um, your canvas prep. Some people call it kitting up. Some people call it kitting down. Um, I'm just going to call it project prep because that's what you're doing is you're prepping the project to start it. So if you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with me. Um, the link to my blog is in the description below. I'll have a post with all of this information on it. And if you want to get in touch with me, you can get in touch with me there. and Or you can leave a question um, at the bottom of the post. Or you can leave a question here on my YouTube. So that's it. Hope that helps you getting started. Hope you've purchased your first kit and you're having a ball. Have a great day. Stay safe. Be nice to everybody. And see you next time. Bye.